all right guys welcome back to another video today we're out at the boynton as low as the water is got the kayak all rigged up and ready to go i'm just gonna throw a couple casts with the popper off the boat ramp you know since i've been sitting here getting it ready i've been seeing a lot of stuff jump up around these corners so uh, i figured i'd throw around a few casts before i get in and disturb any fish It's 7.45 in the morning, you know, so I figured it's still pretty good for some top water. We got completely different conditions than we had yesterday. Yesterday, the sun was in and out, in and out, because we had a bunch of clouds. There was a little storm rolling in last night, and it ended up raining really bad. You just can't tell out here because of how low the water is, but it did rain real bad last night. And uh, today, there's, I mean, we got a little patch clouds over there, but clear blue skies. It's 7.45 in the morning, and the sun's already out bad so i figured we have a little bit of better luck today than we did the other day oh had one i missed it come back for it come on come back for it come back for it something bit it but they missed it came back and missed it again so we can get him a bite. I can see something waking behind it, man. All right, guys, we're in the water already. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and see how far back we can go, just because like I always say, guys, the water's so damn low. We're going to go see how far back we can go and then fish the way back to the boat ramp and uh, see if we get anything. So I'll get back to y'all when we find a good spot to fish. All right, guys. I think this is where we're going to stop. I don't trust trying to cut through all these branches. All this, guys. Everything you see is supposed to be underwater, man. You're not supposed to be able to see none of these branches. None at all. You're not supposed to be seeing nothing. So, like I said, I just don't trust it trying to squeeze through any of this stuff. So, we're just going to stop right here. I probably paddled maybe about 45 minutes. But uh, we're just going to stop right here and then just start fishing the bank. Fish the way back towards the boat ramp and then we'll beat it up over there for a little bit too. All right, guys. I took off the popper. For now, I still have it right here. I'll tie it back on when we get to clearer water or more wider water. But uh, I took it off because I just do not trust myself throwing it around here. I'll get it stuck in a tree. I'll get it stuck on top of one of these branches and it's gone forever. So we're going to start off with the watermelon red dinger by Yum. The water is a lot muddier because like I said, it rained last night. So... Uh, I'm going to throw around that watermelon yum for a little bit and see if we get any bites. And um, I don't have any colors for muddy water, guys, because there usually isn't muddy water out here. Usually, I mean, these rivers have pretty, the Nuestas River has pretty good visibility. But with the water being as low as it is and all that, it just got muddy with the rain that we got last night. So I think the best color that I got is that... Uh, Green pumpkin, blue flake, and that brim colored dinger by Yum. You know, it has the green for clear water. It has that watermelon color, but at the bottom it has that blue, which should be good for this muddy water. So I just don't have anything black and blue, you know. See what we can do. Pull something out of our butts today. All right, I had one on the fluke. Look at this. Had one on the fluke. Set the hook on the dude. He came out the water, spit it right back at me. Say, here's your fluke. I was throwing around that watermelon red dinger for a little bit. Didn't have any bites on it. So I threw on that white, that uh white fluke. I'll put the I'll put the, the exact name. It's by Zoom. But I'll put the exact color pattern of the fluke down here in the bottom. But uh I threw it on, casted it out, right away got a bite. Me, I was over here struggling, trying to turn on the GoPro. He still had it. He had it the whole time. He was just swimming around in circles with it right here. 
And when I set the hook on the dude, I couldn't get the GoPro to turn on. So when I set the hook on the dude, he just jumped up, spit it right back at me. One thing, guys, I wish there was lakes closer to me, you know. San Antonio from Crystal City is about almost two hours away. There's Casablanca Lake in Laredo, which is an hour and a half away. You know, there's uh, Lake Amistad in Del Rio, which is the same thing, an hour and a half, two hours away. All right, guys, I got another one. He still has it. We're going to set the hook hard on this dude. There you go. There you go. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. <laughs> get, him in the, get him in the boat quick. Quick. All right, guys, we got him unhooked. Bleeding a little bit, which is really green. Really, really green. That lateral line is really noticeable right now. Let's get him back in the water. Wash that off real quick. There you go. Boom, straight down. So, I mean, they've been eating it really good lately, guys. But the good thing is that <laughs> it's giving me a lot of practice, you know, when I have to take the hook out their gut. So, lately, they've all been swimming away. But this is the zoom the zoom fluke that i've been using it's like a pearl white on the bottom and then clear on top with a little bit of silver glitter now this guy's already all torn up and stuff but i mean you guys see how close i am to the bank i just pitched it right there pretty much where that little v is with those two logs coming into the water just flicked it in there two three quick little jerks and started seeing my line going all over the place so we're gonna retie get another fluke back on and keep fishing like I, said, like I said, I'm just Texas rigging the dude. So, I mean, real quick, pop it through the top, and then I'll just barely, barely bury the tip of that hook in there just because there's so much branches and trees in the water. Get that guy back out there. And I mean, I toss it out, give it a quick second to, to sink, and then. Just a couple quick little jerks. That's all I'm doing with this fluke. All right, guys. We made it into some open water. So I got that popper tied back on. Throwing it along the bank to see if I get anything. The water is so calm today, man. This popper is making a lot of splashes. In the famous words of Michael, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Almost back to the boat ramp and we finally got another fish. Honestly, couldn't tell that I had a fish on. Um, he wasn't running with it. He wasn't taking off with it or anything like that, you know? I just picked up on my line and I saw that it was staying still, you know what I mean? So I tried jigging it. Since I'm fishing a dinger, I tried jigging it and nothing. I tried... Uh, Bouncing it around and still nothing, so I set the hook on him and it's just this little guy right here. Now he kinda swallowed it, not so bad. I just don't wanna hurt his gills. I'm trying to pull it out through his mouth, you know what I mean? So there you go. No blood, no nothing. Got another little guy. Alright. Let's get this little guy back in the water. Slowly swims off. Yeah, guys. I mean, that was gonna be a pretty productive day since we we're getting bit pretty good on the fluke and all that stuff. But it's like the sun just came out. I mean, it's probably a, honestly, guys. I don't even have my phone with me. It's dead, so I left it in the car. But it's honestly about 10:30, 11 o'clock, and uh, it's like it hit that it hit that that hour mark, man, and it just the bite just stopped. I haven't seen anything come up. I haven't seen anything chase anything for a while. All right, guys, we got another one. Oh, we had one. A little bass hit the fluke off the top of the water. Let's see if we come back for it. A little guy. I cast out there, but a lot of uh, out there is grass. You know what I mean? So I was bringing it. Look, there he is again. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's not that little, he's not that little. Get in here. Oh, yeah. Don't get off, don't get off, don't get off, don't get off, don't get off. Don't get off. Oh, he got off. 
off the flute, guys. I cast out there, but a lot, like, five feet of that is grass. So I was bringing it past the grass line, and this dude just ate it off the top. He spit it out and let it go. So then I cast back in there again, and that's when he got it. That's where y'all saw him ate it. But can y'all see that, guys? Can you see his lateral line? It looks pretty cool. Like, it comes, it comes down, and then it, it goes up. And then from the tail, it comes up, and then it goes down. You know what I mean? It looks pretty cool. And then you can tell he was in the grass right here. You can see he was eating. Oh, that was not for me, but something took a bite out of him. Let's get him in the water real quick. It's hot out here, guys. You don't want, when you catch a bass and you're admiring it, keep dunking it back in the water, you know, before you release it, because it's hot out here, man. Really hot. All right, guys. Yeah, like I was saying, you can tell he was in the grass because he's covered in, in dirt and stuff. But look at his face. I mean, I, did, did, did I do that to him? Because he's cut right there. Like something tried to take a bite out of him right there. His skin's peeled back right here. But right here is the hole from where I set the hook on him. I don't know. If I did do that to you, guy, I'm sorry. Oh, not just that. Look at his fin. Look at his fin. This guy's been, he's been getting up onto the bank eating stuff. Let him go.